Welcome back to the conversation here on Politics Today on Channels Television. The link to the conversation that we're having on the program today, uh, if you are tweeting to your thoughts, is hashtag politics today to these handles at CTV Politics, the official handle for the program. And you may also tweet at my own personal handle. It is at Sheung Oking. Maybe you want to talk some more. Why not send your thoughts and opinions on these issues that we're talking about today to our email? It is at politics today at channelstv.com. Well, let's turn our attention to the minister's inauguration. Honorable Westy Dawson joins us from our Abuja studio. And Mr. Nyinka Udrumakin, the spokesperson of uh, Fanny Ferry uh, and the public affairs commentator, is also with me in the studio. Thank you so much, Mr. Udrumakin, for My being pleasure. part of the program. Yeah. Uh, first and foremost, let me start with you, Mr. Udumakin. Marking. When you saw uh, the ministers, it's been several weeks now that we've seen the names, but the portfolios, of course, some of the names and the key, uh, some of the major uh, offices and the portfolios will come up on your screen in, a, in, a, in another few seconds. Uh, when you saw those portfolios, what do you make of them? Well, I think it's quite it's mixed. Uh, there are guys who have been put in the right uh, places, but there are others we will think that perhaps uh, there are constitutions that are not quite clear in terms of fixing them or where they have been put. But uh, by and large, I think we have some round pegs in round holes, and we have a few square pegs in round holes. Interesting. Which are the ones that you're talking about here? The, the, the square pegs in the round holes now? Uh, for instance, I, I look at, for instance, uh, when you look at uh, Budget and national planning. And that's look, very interesting. That's key. Yes, key. I now find somebody that is, is a lawyer who has no experience. That's in, Senator Dodoma. Uh, Dodoma, who has no experience in uh, this kind of technical know how about this area. Secondly, we look at the screening at the Senate. He did say that he was surprised when the president nominated him as a minister because he has not been in politics for a long time, for some time. And so, for that kind of place, we all have thought that maybe somebody was uh, in the engine room of the APC when they are doing their roadmaps, their policies, and the rest. I mean, for, some, for instance, we remember during the elections, somebody like uh, Dr. Kadi Faimi was doing most of these things about policies and the rest of them. Now, somebody like uh, Udoma now, I don't think you will start now, first of all, to start to know what are the party's thoughts, what are the things they promised, uh, finally trying to land the rope. About budget and well, planning. It was it was in a committee for uh, planning um, appropriation uh, when he was a senator. What well, appropriation? If it was which is actually very close to issues of budgeting and planning too. Yeah, but it? but in terms of national planning, in terms of you know, you know budgeting, and even in terms of what are the party programs, their policies, and the rest of them, you will still have to you know begin to lend the ropes. Lend the ropes, and of course, I already lost his months. For any administration under this kind of arrangement, the tenure is two years to, for governance. After two years, you are starting campaign for other elections. The politics take over. So I think that within the next one and a half years, and given the state of the country today, I mean, it's about a team that can quickly get to business, hit the ground, and run it. Interesting. If you look at the Ministry of Power, housing, and that of uh, uh, the one given to the former governor of uh, Lagos State, Babatunde Raji Fashola, a lot of people will say that that's perhaps too much, isn't it? Well, it's, 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 it's interesting because uh, I believe that the former governor of Lagos State needs all the prayers. Uh, so that, um, like uh, a good example of mine was seen at the back page of Punch today, uh, that this assignment does not demystify him. Because I remember in 1999, when Obasanjo brought uh, Uncle Bolage to power ministry, and uh, Uncle got there, had his roadmap, talking about turning stone into bread and all the rest of them. And when the reality confronted him, within months, he was moved from that ministry, and Obasanjo had to be saying that he did not know his left from his right hand. Look, the crisis we are facing in Nigeria today in terms of the structure, this key, especially the power, works are so humongous. The federal government is so bloated that it cannot carry anything. The states that are supposed 
you know, to, to do handle some of these facilities, they are too lean that you cannot afford to carry it. So, in a way, their expectations are high in these areas, but there are structural challenges that will, will make the create a Herculean task. Even for somebody that's handling some of these portfolios, just one, not talk of all of them put together. I think it's a Herculean task. <laughs> Is it, is, it, is, it, is it plausible for, for the kind of person that we know that Raji Fashola, uh, Babatunde Fashola is? Is it possible for him? Is it achievable? These three big, we have a lot of deficit in infrastructure in terms of roads and all of that in Nigeria. Works ministry, very big. Uh, power, it's epileptic. I mean, it's not been very good for us in the last uh, almost two decades or more. Yeah. Uh, the issue of housing. Millions of uh, of uh, of deficits also in terms of housing for us as a nation. Do you think that it can achieve? A lot of people had accorded him a lot of uh, performance achievements in Lagos State. Do you think it, that can? Uh, uh, well, I mean, play out in these ministries that he has been given. Well, first of all, Nigeria is not Lagos. Uh, we have an institution where we have in a, a country of thirty six states and the FCT. And you are having a question, you know, we are also in a state of uh, a, a situation where the revenue of the country is dwindling. We have a situation where also we have a structure that is not meant to deliver. That can, and so within that mix, when you say that someone sits in Abuja and is in charge of all federal roads in Nigeria, some of these roads, it doesn't know where they are. You have the past situation. Today, you know when they said they were, the former administration said that they were kind of um, uh, doing, uh, uh, taking power away from government and private sectors. A lot of people went, investors, they went to invest in those power things, thinking that it was like GSM, that they would start making money like that. But getting to it now, they are seen as a different thing together. The past in Nigeria today is not something that can move solve in four years. So, I believe that he has a very difficult assignment on his hands. So, and when I, the way some people have been, uh, those, I mean, those who love him now need to pray for him. Interesting. Uh, we must turn into prayer warriors yes. now if you love uh, uh, the former governor of Lagos. Let me turn to uh, a former lawmaker uh, from Edo State, uh, Honorable Westy Dow, a former member of the House of Reps, who is joining us from our Abuja studio. Thank you so much, Honorable, for being part of the program. But let me start by asking you, when you saw those portfolios, when you saw uh, the mix of the team now, do you think that we have uh, a bright future ahead of us? Well, well in, a, in, a, in a number of ministries, I, I think they got it right. But uh, again, I, some some men have been uh, one size fits all, and that that big problem, particularly. Uh, the, Ministry of uh, Power, uh, Housing, and Works. But if you look at the major infrastructural deficit and decay in the country, this is where um, the problem is speaks. So when you ask them to deal with these three uh, major sectors, I think equating him to a superhuman being and given the absence of a solid structural setting in the country's governance pattern, it's going to be quite a difficult job uh, for my good friend and learned colleague. Uh, otherwise, for a number of ministries, it will appear, for example, like agriculture, you know, that was right on spot because you have uh, Aldo Ogbe there, who is himself a farmer. He's been there on a number of occasions, and to that extent, uh, he should hit the ground running. I am not too sure I share my brother Oduma King's view on. Uh, uh, Udo Udoma. Uh, Udoma is an all round intellectual. When I was in the National Assembly, he was there as a senator. I have no doubt that the Senate, and indeed the National Assembly, has a holistic view of the national planning system in this country. Uh, so the information available uh, to lawmakers at that level is so humongous that uh, a smart lawmaker like Udoma, in my own opinion, can bring his uh, overall experience to bear on national planning. Don't forget that we don't plan on the basis of partisan politics, because whether it is politics or not, national planning is a going concern. 
So we will always expect to find enough information and data to continue with the planning. So I, I think that uh, he's smart enough to do the job, and I pray that he succeeds there. All right. Uh, Let me take you quickly initiative. on, um, just, just if I may come in here, Honorable Daosa. If you look at some of these ministries, just as they will appear on your screen now, uh, the president said that he will take charge of the petroleum ministry and of course will be assisted by uh, uh, Mr. Kachiku uh, who is going to be the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources. Then the finance ministry, very big one isn't it? Uh, because uh, someone like Kemi Adioshin who was also a former commissioner in Ogun State and their education, transportation, transportation, interesting, Rotimi Amechi, a former governor also in River State. If you look at all of this and considering the very huge campaign promises made by the APC, do you think, how early do you think Nigerians should be seeing benefits of the expertise of some of these guys who have now been brought into this government? Well, again, th that would be a bit unpredictable. The, the reason we can only set the time frame, we can say that within the next 12 months, we should begin to see the initial signs of progress uh, in these sectors. If you take a man uh, like um, Adamu Adamu, who's been put in education, he has a ruthless uh, reputation uh, for fighting corruption. So you know that this is a, a prudent spender of public funds and likely to be re religiously sticking to public policies in, in, in education. Now, as long as the leakages are blocked there, and you are likely to stick to the national plan on education, chances are that we can begin to see quick effects. Now, if you look at uh, transport, that's a very technical department, because that will involve, in my own opinion, both land, water, and uh, type of transportation. Um, I know that Amichi was governor of a state. He also, I believe, may have capacity, but whether he's technically adept enough to deal with transportation, being the live wire of most economies in the world, uh, is, is a different thing entirely. But globally, we cannot isolate the country from the uh, rest of the world, the economy of the world, the, the, the activities going on environmentally worldwide will also largely affect our country, particularly against its over-reliance on one product, the, the oil. So if we can set a grid quickly, uh, as an avenue to commence our diversification, do a bit of work on solid minerals, and then encourage uh, the, the commercial sector, I mean, the, the Ministry of Commerce and Investment, uh, to begin to promote small scale industries in this country. I think that in the next 12 months, we begin to see initial signs of.